Good morning and welcome to a full day of eating lots of fat. So yeah, I've switched up my diet. I used to be the standard high carbs, low to moderate fats. So I'll say my average would be 200 grams of protein, 350 to 400 carbs and 55 to 60 fat. Don't know why I have taken so long to try something new. Maybe it was fear, maybe it was the fact that when I did a couple of high fat days but didn't drop my carbs significantly, I kind of felt like I fluffed out. You know, subconsciously I linked a higher fat to not looking as good. To combat that, what I'm doing is I have dropped carbs to 150, fats have gone up to 150, and protein is staying around about 180 to 200 grams, because that is significant enough. This change in diet has led to an entire different lifestyle, fridge, cupboard contents, but it's also led to a lot of fun. In terms of the fact that I can now eat things that I couldn't eat before, I think it's gonna be relatively easy to maintain this diet because most things on the market are now low carb anyway, because everyone thinks that, you know, sugars are bad. So it's easy to pick up low carb food, easier than it is to pick up keto foods. This is not a keto diet. Let me make that very plain. I don't think being in keto is bad, but I also don't think it's sustainable because I just don't think there's enough products available on the market for you to easily grab or for you to be able to go out easily, eat, enjoy life, be with friends, have a social life. In America maybe, but in the UK definitely definitely not. And the whole thing about diets is no matter what you're doing, no matter what your choice is, it has to be sustainable. It has to allow you to have a life. That's the main thing. Life in the middle, everything else goes around that. Don't put your life around your diet. With that being said, this is not just a high fat diet. I am also doing intermittent fasting to an extent. I wake up and I don't eat until midday. Now there has been a lot of research done into the benefits of intermittent fasting. Originally, it wasn't much to do with bodybuilding. It was more about cellular repair, but they have found that there is the potential for it to maybe help mobilize a little bit more efficient fat loss. And also because you're packing your food into a smaller time frame during the day, that it can also help sustain more muscle mass. To be honest with you, it feels fine. It feels good and you get used to it very quickly. It also means that you can have bigger meals through the times of the day when you're eating, which is enjoyable. So in the mornings, if I don't have a coffee, what I am doing is getting my water, half a lemon, and I put half a lemon into my water. That is because it is part of a regiment that I have, which is a red drink. If you don't know what that is, it is linked in the description, and that is just something to help reduce joint pain and inflammation. Check that other video out to find out about that. I sip on this for the next few hours until I start my first meal. So until then, I'm gonna sit out here, enjoy this crazily glorious weather for Britain, a little bit of company with the pup, and crack on with some work. I will see you in the first meal. Toodaloo. Alrighty, Rue, let's get this day started then. Woo! To kickstart you into a good mood, you're gonna need one of these, some of this, and a little bit of this. Okay, so you don't quite need a Krups machine or specialist coffee, you can use instant, but why not have something that you might enjoy? So invest, go get some like, pre-ground coffee, keep it in the freezer when you're not using it to keep it fresh, and experiment with some flavors. You can now get some really nice blends of coffee, so have a little bit of a play, a little bit of a play. But what I'm gonna do, you're gonna need to be weighing your food to be able to know what you're eating. This is part of following a macro diet. It does give you the freedom to have different foods, but you need to be able to track and you need to be consistent. So a more consistency in your intakes day to day in meals will lead to a more consistent look in the mirror. So, glass and the scales, zeroed off. Extra virgin, 100% organic coconut oil by Dr. Zaccaruni. We grab it from Muscle Food. Link below. Take 20 grams of this, close enough. Then it's just as simple as taking your mug. Ha <laughs> ha. We hit tall. And now we wait. So what you see once that's run through is the heat alone should be enough to kind of start melting this through. But you can see on a tall shot on one of these, so you're going to probably want to hit that one more time. You get these lovely heads on your coffee, but you can see the coconut oil sitting just below there. Now you can just stir it with a spoon, but I would recommend getting one of these. It's a little um, milk frother, they call them. They cost like three quid. Give it a whiz. Oh, that smells damn good. 
This is a fantastic start to your day. It's the caffeine to perk you up. Coconut oil is an MCT fat base, which means it's a medium chain triglyceride. That is a type of fat that can go straight into your system and be used for energy straight away. It doesn't require the same digestive processes as other fats. So it's great for starting your day, kickstarting the body, getting you some energy in, make you feel good, plus, mm, and adds that a little bit of kick to your coffee. Add a bonus of coconut oil if you've got any on your fingers, you can just. Lovely. Alrighty, Roo, so while your coffee is cooling, all you're gonna need for this is some basic bitch ingredients for my favorite breakfast. Some Dr. Zach's protein bread. Cheap and cheerful peanut butter. I like it smooth. And last but not least, sugar reduced jam. Looking alarmingly low. I'd normally have 15 grams. I reckon I'm gonna get about five. So these scales go to negative, so I can take out exactly what I need. Oh, so close. Exactly what I wanted. Spread half of that on each of these. Save on your carbon footprint. Mm. Use the same spoon. And there you have it, a basic bitch breakfast, but this rocks in at 48 carbohydrates, 53 fats, and 43 protein. Is a coiled spring. Bailey. <laughs> Some days you try and be positive. You honestly wake up and you say, today is going to be a good day. And then shit like this happens. Hmm? Properly twonked. Properly twonked. <sighs> but on a bonus, I dropped it outside the store, actually dropped the phone and left it, and came back and I got the phone back. So it wasn't nicked. So, Silver linings. So ingredient profiles are some brie, full fat, proper real cheese, dry cured ham. This is basically if you went to the butcher's counter, this is what they would slice off that joint for you to have. She's only looking at the ham. Guess where the ham is on the camera right now. <laughs> Pesto-y, healthy-ish fatties. Is this in it? No, but it's gonna be in dinner. Avocados, if you don't know, full of healthy fats. Good for you. I'll show you how you use those, use those later. So one thing about having this high fat diet as opposed to high carb is one of the things is it doesn't bloat you because remember now, fat's twice the calories of a carb, gram for gram. You can see something really tasty now, but it's actually quite compact and very easy to nibble on during the day. Low carb Joseph's wrap, eight carb, three fat. It's the size of your entire program. And 10 protein. Four grams per half, so eight for a whole one of these huge big beasties. This is the important bit. Fold the bottom before you roll, and then you end up with a lovely, neat little postal package of macaroni goodness. We're not done yet. A little bit of a drizzle of olive oil, five grams in the pan. Then all you're going to do is lightly simmer on both sides until golden brown. What that's going to do is going to melt the brie and it's going to crisp that outside. Medium heat till golden. Cheers, my dears. And completed. There you have it. Lovely. Flavoursome, fully packed, low carb, tasty, relatively simple meal to make. Now, the macros for this meal are going to be bing, 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 bing. Let's see 11 carbs, 25 fat, and 25 protein, which takes us to a total of 61 carbs, 78 fats, and 69 protein. If you've never tried brie with ham and pesto, Oh my god. Mm. My hands are covered in bike oil because I've been fucking around with a little bit of exhausty, exhausty goodness. Where's that hair going? It's like. Carbs wise at the moment, we're running at 150. What I like to do is put a lot of those deliberately around the workout times, around your physical activity times, because that's going to help pump that you're getting in the gym, give you that little bit of spike of energy. And if you put some carbs in before and after, so fuel and replenish, you should avoid that kind of crashed out feeling. And keep the fats kind of spreading along through the day relatively evenly. Don't take in a huge amount of fat alongside a larger amount of carbs just before you train, or you might find yourself feeling a little bit. Did you eat deer poo? Well, I'll, I'll tell you now, in my full day of eating, I like to focus on natural produce. What else do you like? 
Well, I do have a little bit of a penchant for biscuits. So it is gym time and it's a beautiful summer's day and I thought I'd do something that's a little bit summery for my pre-workout carbs. Like I said, I like to get some carbs in pre and post-workout. Today I'm going to be going through the healthy route, the lovely route. So we'll be going for one whole banana, roughly 18 grams of carbohydrate, 100 grams of British raspberries, 5 grams of carbohydrate, 100 grams of some succulent, juicy British beastie strawberries. Again, 5 grams of carbohydrate. But this is macros and you could also go for something a little bit more fun should you wish and if you want to have a little bit of fun a little bit of like more cheeky foods the best time to have those is around your workouts around your activities around when your body is going to be like feeding at the teat of the carbohydrate and macro mother so for that same equivalent of 30 grams 30 35 grams of carbohydrate you could go for one of these that's right a pop tart frosted cinnamon roll and that would rock in at 35 grams of carbohydrate and 7 grams of fat which is perfect will make you look nice and full and pumped in the gym and a little bit vascular because of those added fats so it's finding that balance but today i'm going for the healthy option so let's hit the gym so here we are in the gym obviously <laughs> chest biceps and carbs day this is going to be the high frequency style training that I talked about in my previous video so make sure to check that out if you want to know how that's going to work so here we are right now you can see not insanely vascular or anything crazy going on but carbs will be kicking in shortly I'm just going to show you a rough idea of how we change from now until after the workout loyal vein is always just here but nothing else so I'll see you in about 45 minutes to an hour okay so we're halfway through the workout I'm just in a bit of a groove now so I want to get this Done and out of the way so I can carry on because I'm nasty zoned in. But I just want to show you already, hopefully, this angle you can see. She is popping differently. This is literally 25 minutes into the workout. There's not a lot of people here now, so. There you can clearly see once you get in here the fullness there's the main thing i'm noticing is with the fat through the day and then these carbs before the workout because it's like the real only big input of carbs through the day the body reacts really well i don't know it just feels like it's really much more optimal like as well there's not a lot of kind of water retention when i take those big carbs in whereas before when it was higher carb obviously the glycogen cells are constantly replenished and then also overloaded which then leads to subcutaneous water underneath the skin between the muscle and the skin so that can make you feel a bit watery feel a little bit bloated at the moment i'm not feeling any of that which is a massive bonus so leave me be i'm gonna crack on with this i'm gonna leave you with one tip from insta stories this week no two tips from insta stories this week for back and calves and shoulders so three tips <sighs> We're out of glucose. I've been doing this since I was just a kid and mama bought me in my out the movie store. Hoping someday maybe I could do what I love for a living with people. So Buffalo burger. Yeah, they're really good. Really they're tasty. Pretty lean though. Macros on those? 8 grams of fat, 1.8 grams of carbs, and 30 proteins. That's what we need. Post workout protein. So, burgers are going on these Warburton's thins. This is a mixture that Laney has created laughing cow avocado based guac. So, this is where we're getting some of those healthy fats in there, and it's simple ingredients. You can see which are an avocado and four laughing cow triangles, a little bit of lemon and some smoked paprika and that's it. Where is this going? All day. <laughs> All day. Prior, like I showed you, you want the faster acting carbs when you get back out. You want some of those slower acting carbs. Low fat, white potato based, very few preservatives or fuckety things. They're basically pre-chopped potatoes done for you. Bang them in the oven. Jobs are good. I'm using some of the fry like garlic spray just because I like the taste of it. The buffalo burgers frying. We've got the little Warburton Stins toasting. It's gonna to be decorated with some goat's cheese, 30 grams of, seven grams of fat. That's only seven grams of fat? Yeah. Wow. 
know. Ladies, uh, guacamole. And if you want to just spend a few carbs on something a little bit cheeky, trust me, get some caramelized onion chutney on your burgers. So a little bit of a handy hint to help you melt your cheese on your burgers. If you cover, like so. Eggs as well, if you want to cook the top of your eggs, you just put a lid on. Americans, what the hell is sunny side up and sunny side down? Why, why would you want one up and one down? What's the, what's the difference? Let me know. So, 122. So the general rule, like your white potatoes and things like that, are gonna be around about kind of 28 to 30 grams of carbs per 100. So we've got 122 there. So that's gonna be around about, I don't know, 35, 20 grams of carb from the bread. Make sure you toast them and that'll stop them going so soggy. We end up with around about that kind of 55 to 60 grams of carbohydrate, which is kind of optimal for what you want after training. It's gonna help restore that liver glycogen and just, yeah, it's just a good way of balancing, getting your carbs in and actually making use of when you have those insulin spikes. Goat's cheese is on. And this is where you layer up that avocado cheesy spread. 27 grams of the other what are we gonna call it the, cheesy avocado the guacoline the guacolini guacaholy moly health if you're gonna have salad you better make goddamn sure that it's wild salad the only salad a man should eat a little bit of the cheeky chutney i'm only literally going to have 10 grams which is three and a half carbs which is just i mean even if you'd had all your 150 grams of carbohydrate and you're like damn i've got no carbs left Three and a half grams ain't gonna do shit, but it's gonna make this meal taste great. Have an extra three grams of carb and make your meal lovely. Buffalo burger, goat's cheese, guacolini. Oh my god. How is this making me look better every day? If you want love, you gon' have to go through the push you would have told me. If you want love. Meal five, and it's a real easy one. Three medium free range eggs don't buy cage 10 eggs smoked salmon 100 grams gonna scramble don't need to do anything with that in three two one and there we go one and a half minutes in and those eggs look beautiful cooking in the microwave actually helps keep some of the moisture in there 100 grams of the salmon on top a little sprinkle of lemon a little bit of pepper there you go real easy real tasty meal number five so here we are at the final part of the day and it's going to be a simple one and i like to do this protein shakes this is when i'll have them it makes me keep being hydrated which is very important you must stay hydrated so be drinking at least two to three liters of water per day it's going to solve numerous amounts of issues that you might be facing from skin to joints now the style of protein hydro iso casein whey it doesn't really fucking matter. Get whatever tastes good and whatever fits your budget. In terms of what's gonna happen long-term to your body by sticking to consistent macros, it really doesn't matter whether you've got a fast-acting or slow-acting protein in there. One scoop of whey, and finish as we started, 20 grams of the Dr. Zach's coconut oil. Now, I could add some almond butter, some peanut butter, or even real nuts. Had I left any carbs over, but this is gonna literally finish me on 149 carbs, 149 fat, and 201, I think it is, protein. So a perfect end to the day. Mm. Adding that ice in there makes it really refreshing. So if you want to give this a try and you want to flip to that high fat side of things, remember you want to try and get your fats from good sources. So you want to kind of avoid getting them all from animal. Try and get a lot from, kind of like I've shown you here, the coconut oils, olive oils, nuts, fish, and things like that. Try not to get it all from dairy and animal products. At the end of the day, that's the goal, isn't it? It's to look good, but also be healthy. But one thing I have noticed with this 100% is the fact that I'm looking tighter on this. And I do think that is due to simply the fact that there's less carbs in my body. So I look much drier than I do normally. You can see a lot more of the details. Whereas by now, what would normally happen at this time of night is I'd be, I'd be quite full, I'd be quite bloated. I mean, that really isn't the case. I mean, if you really look, you can even see that split in my bicep. You can see, look, you can even see that split running through the bicep, which you definitely, definitely couldn't see before. Am I enjoying the diet? Yes. Has it been a bit of a challenge to flip over? Yeah, mentally and also in terms of buying things in that 
make it viable for you to be able to hit the numbers that you need to hit. Because it's a big drastic change going from that 55 fats suddenly to 150. The bonus of this diet is definitely the fact that your volume of food can come down whilst keeping those calories up. My weight has stayed stable at the moment, 178 pounds. That hasn't really changed from when I had the high carb, although I have noticed less fluctuation during the day. Another bonus. So that is going to be it for this video. I realized that we've been doing a lot of vlogging and things like that. So I'm going to be doing some short, sharp and informative videos. Like I told you, I want to get back to those pow, boom. And I'm going to be doing some three minute masterclasses, which is where I'm going to take um, an exercise for a body group and I'm going to go through how you can do small, tiny little changes to make that exercise really work. And we'll do that for the entire body for a whole host of different exercises. So you'll have an entire library. You'll be able to go, what exercise are you going to do today? Watch that quick three minute video. Yep, 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 nail it, nail it, nail it. Get in there, apply it, and feel the differences. Make the gains and break those plateaus. Thank you all for watching. Please make sure to hit that like button. It really does help the channel. Comment below as well. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. Make sure that you hit that notification bell because still people are not being informed of the videos going up on the channel. People still commenting. I, guys, I've done everything I can with that in terms of YouTube, so I'm just gonna plow on, grind forward. You know, you can't let shit pull you down all the time, otherwise, you know, the world will beat you into submission. So we're going to grind on with your support and hitting those like buttons, hitting notification, all social media links and everything that you've seen in this video, relevant links will be in the description below. So until the next one, I'm Lex and we are out. Boom, baby. Well, did just forget to mention, considering this video is going up today and today is going to be Sunday, tomorrow, 2nd of July, there is an up to 50% off sale at Gymshark. Link will be below if you want to support your boy. If you hit that link, it will track you when you go through to the website and let them know that you've come from my channel, from me, and it literally directly supports me and my channel. If you need to know size and guide, check the video link in the description. I've done a generalized size and guide for the Gymshark stuff previously, so make sure you watch that video, hit the link, and then grab some bargains. Right, now we're definitely out.